Hi guys, I'm Daisy Salem from Daisy Financial. How are you today? So, well, for today, well, um, yesterday actually I got a question asking, well, what if um, I can't find any trading chances in a 10 seconds chart? What should I do? So, well, for today, I will make a trading video based on this question and then I'll explain it to you. Uh, what you should do or what you can um, consider to do when you can't find any trading chances in a particular chart. So uh, well, we'll take a look at the market but for today, we'll be using a range market trading strategy which is the Bollinger Bands and MACD and then we will use this strategy and then we will take a look at um, whether the, the, the chart that I'm trading is suitable and if it is not, then what should I do? So um, first, we will take a look at the setting of the indicator. So, uh, okay, so well, now go to the um, indicator. Just click on indicator and then we we'll select the Bollinger Bands. So click tick on Bollinger Bands and then we we'll open the drop down. Okay, so now we need to deselect all the lines on the left and then we keep the one on the right. So now that's all set. And then um, next, we just go to um, oscillator. Okay, go to oscillator. And uh, we will choose the MACD. That's the second indicator we need. And we open the drop down for MACD. And um, for parameter for MACD, we are using a 5, 35, and 5. So again, EMA1 is 5. EMA2 is 35, signal is 5. So now the indicators are set up, then we can close this window. Okay, so the last thing, so the first um, chart period that I'm gonna try to use is a 10 seconds chart, and then I will be trading with a 30 seconds option to um, to match with the um, chart period. So, okay, so well, will take a look at the trades. Okay, so well, I place a high here first. So um, the timing for us to place a high, first we take a look at the um, the Bollinger Bands. So I need the um, candlestick to approach to the lower band, and then I move on to the MACD. Then I need the MACD to cross over and gives me a green histogram. So um, now these two um, criteria are met, and then that's why I opened it a high deck. And, um, okay, so now the trade is about to finish and um, now you see the candlestick is already um, approached to the upper band and I can actually get ready to um, place a low option when the MACD crossover. So um, all I'm waiting for here is just for the MACD to cross over. So now, but then you see um, the, the um, candlestick is actually breaking out from the range market. So um, now you see if I put a line on top of the candlestick, then you see the this newest candlestick is actually breaking out from the range. So, and then if we take a look at that um, MACD, the the two lines in the MACD actually getting away from the zero line. So um, that's why now I'm actually thinking that the um, range market is about to end, and then it's not suitable for this um, strategy anymore. So I will change the currency pass. And then we will take a look at other market, other price movements. Okay, so well, this one is a trend market. If we take a look at the MACD, it's about the zero line. So we will take a look at another currencies. Okay, so well, this is a range, but then if we take a look at the candlestick, um, the candlestick, a lot of lines and then a lot of inside bars. So um, the, the price movement here is not stable. We will change the currency pair again. So, um, okay, so now again, it's a range, but then um, if we take a look at the range, it's really narrow. So um, I, I'm i not sure if this is a good choice to trade with. So um, I will change the currency pairs again. So, um, okay, so uh, we'll change currency pairs and take a look at a few different markets. So, um, okay, so well, um, it doesn't look um, promising. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to change the chart period to 1 minute and option period to 3 minutes. So um, that's what I do. So when, uh, if I use a 10 seconds chart, if I don't spot any purchase 
um, chance across all um, currency pairs, then I will actually change the chart period to one minute or a even longer um, time frame. So when I change the um, chart period, um, the the price movement actually changes as well because the duration is different. So um, that will help you to spot something that you can't see within a 10 seconds chart or the chart you were using. So that's what I do. So I just change the chart period and then I'm just to spot other purchase chance. So now you see here, that's a really nice uh, range market here after I changed the currency pairs. So um, the price is moving within the range and um, it's looking really nice, really uh, really smooth price movement. So all I'm waiting for here is just for the um, the MACD crossover and give me a purple histogram, then I will open a trade. So which is now, okay, I'll open a load here. So um, now you see the um, candlestick touches with the um, upper band. And then um, I move on to the MACD, then um, the MACD crossover and gives me a purple histogram so that's why I opened it, this trade here so um, well the strategy itself is really simple so all we looking for is just for the well, uh, um, it within a um, range market we're just looking for the um, the moment that the, the price touches with the resistance or support so in the Bollinger Bands, the resistance is the upper band and the support is the lower band and then we use the MACD to confirm the um, the bouncing point so um, if, it, if it is confirmed then we open a trade so um, another thing I want to talk about here is that um, the, the longer the chart period, the more stable the price is so um, that's why um, sometimes if we can't spot any chance in a short period time frame like 10 seconds chart then if we switch to a longer time frame then the chances for us to spot a purchase timing a good purchase timing is higher so um, that's why um, I normally switch um, chart period to spot purchase chance so um, okay so well, now the trade is finished and is end in profit so um, now let's take a look at the history so go to history, trade history. So um okay, so well uh, I only made two trades today um because I couldn't spot any um purchase chance in uh well I, I spot one but then I, I didn't spot any in a after that in a 10 seconds chart. So um that took me time to switch to a one minute chart and um I, I made one trade in the one minute chart with three minutes option. So uh, well anyway that's how you do it so if you can't find any um, ideal purchase timing in the chart that you're using just um, simply switch the um, change the chart period and then I'm pretty sure you will see something that you couldn't see using the previous chart so that's what this one way you can um, do to um, to try to look for more trading charts so uh, well um, anyway if you do have any question on the strategy or if you still, still have any question on how to spot more trading chance or what to do when you can't spot any trading chance just feel free to leave me a comment down there and I can get back to you and try to discuss with you more so um, okay so well if you like my video give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more live trading video and I will see you soon again tomorrow bye